Hello, hello. <clears throat> I was rushing on tonight, I tell you the truth. But thank God I am here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't like to be late. I like to be on time. But it is what it is. Just welcome to uh, tonight, uh, Sundays at uh, 7 with Joanna's Jazzy Jewel. And I am Joanna. Uh, I want to welcome you all here to this live. I won't hold you long. Y'all know tonight is the night that the Stellar Wars come on. And for those in the Christian world, that is something that we like to watch from time to time. <clears throat> Most of the time, anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show some jewelry. Um, every, everything I'm going to show tonight, with the exception of what I'm wearing, uh, costs $5, okay? Uh, so I'm going to show the jewelry. On Sundays, we do have giveaways where I do ask uh, trivia questions, and the person uh, who gets uh, two consecutive right answers in a row, you will win the trivia. So I show the jury, I assign the jury a number, and uh, if you like something you see in the comment section, you just comment on the number or jazzy and then the number, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to get tonight uh, started out with these beautiful multicolored earrings here uh, that you see. Uh, the name of this one is called Mind Oval Matter. Not Mind Over, but Oval, O-V-A-L. Here you see your silver, and, and it is, some have that steel uh, color in there too. So they are multicolored earrings here that you can see the ovals, more than one color. The number for this pair is going to be Jazzy 58. So if you like what you see, you say Jazzy 58, and then these will be yours, okay? They hang like that. That's how they look if you put them in your ears. That's Jazzy 58. Now for another pair of earrings, for those of you who like that crocheted look, look at these beautiful earrings here. Hello, Miss Coley. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, these are brown earrings here. Does have that uh, floral uh, again? It looks like it's been uh, embroidered on there. Uh, these earrings here have this leather like um, material. The number for these beautiful earrings is going to be Jazzy 63. Like I said earlier, we want we may want to get off. Um, let me decline this call real quick. We may want to get off because uh, you know the Stella Awards come on tonight. <clears throat> So it's, we'll be making it quick, okay? Well, before 8 anyway. This next bracelet we see, we'll do two things and then we'll have our, well, maybe three more. And then we'll have our first question for tonight. When I was putting this out, I said, oh my goodness, this looks so classy. This here has the uh, oval stones. It has the uh, diamond shape there too in it. Uh, it is a cuff bracelet there. Uh, with the beading on the end uh, for comfort. Uh, this is a beautiful cuff bracelet. I'm going to bring it in so you can see. And you can see the alternating stones are encased with the rhinestones. That is cute with a K. Okay, K-U-T-E. The number for this one is going to be Jazzy 74. This looks so elegant on too. That's an elegant piece if I do say so myself. Now more for the ears. Here is another pierced pair of pierced earrings. They have the uh, fish hook back on them. These are some nice, I call them reflectors, okay? These are some nice, it kind of reminds me of an inverted tree maybe. Uh, but this is a copper, it's called a Fron Farewell, F-R-O-N-D, Farewell. And this is a copper earring, okay? So putting it to your ear, you're going to get this beautiful look here, okay? I do believe the ones I have on probably overshadowed them, though. And the number for this one is going to be Jazzy 90. Okay. I don't know why that reminds me of Christmas. I have no idea. Kind of looks like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Next here, we have this alternating. This is a stretch bracelet here. It is silver. You see the solid color silver. And then you see that crushed action there. Uh, it is, again, a stretch bracelet. The number is Jazzy 64. And this one is very highly reflective, too. Okay? You'll be able to look into... Well, 
I was about to say the future, but then I realized I would not be telling the truth, so I refrained from doing that. So this is Jazzy 64, okay? All right, so for our first question for tonight, hello, Miss Blonnie, hello, hello, hello. Oh, Lord, I got to send that off. So glad you could make it. I wonder where your sister is. Anyway, maybe she'll she'll come on. She may already be. I don't know. <clears throat> Sometimes people are on. I think I know how many is there. And someone else will say something that I don't see. I don't know how this thing does, okay? But nevertheless, y'all know I left my magnifying glass. Let's see if I can do this without his help. Because if not, I'm going to have to go get it. You hear me? These, this writing is so little. Oh, all right. Y'all ready? Get your fat fingers ready. <laughs> all right. And me too. She will, she will be on soon. Okay. Maybe that's her right there. Okay. Well, she came in just in time, didn't she? All right. In whose sack did Joseph hide a silver cup? In whose sack did Joseph hide a silver cup? I'm going to wait to see y'all's answers because I got to go get that magnifying glass. <laughs> oh, Lord. In whose sack? Trying hard to get on. Well, you on now, so. Uh, Benjamin is correct. Linda Coley is the first person I see. And that's Genesis 44 and 2. All right, Benjamin, Benjamin. All right, today is 8-7. We're not going to be here. Y'all know how them, them, them preachers say, we ain't going to be before you long. And then <laughs> they get up there and they're, they're a long time. I ain't going to be before you. I ain't preaching, but I'm just saying. I'm just, yeah. Oh, Lord. All right, Linda Coley for one. You got one. All right, got you. You got one point. Benjamin was the correct answer. Y'all, I got to go. Y'all look at the board back here while I go. You wait until we all get on. You're supposed to be on that. Se well, I wouldn't come on the 702, so you didn't have no problem getting on. I just went on. <laughs> that's, that's what that was. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Now, I've told you how to do the notification. If you're on your cell phone, let's try this one more again. If you tap, let's just tap anywhere on my face. It's going to come up. A little thing should come up and say, turn notifications on for Joanna's Jazzy Jewel or whatever. You're going to hit yes. Or you're going to tap on the next one. Then it's going to tell you to turn them on. So that every time I go live, you'll be, it'll send a notic notification to your phone. All right, so she got that right. Let's move on, and then I'll ask the next question in a little bit. This next bracelet has a class closure to it, and it has black. I got to make sure y'all see them, though. Okay, it's almost like a chain link fence, but it has the black. You see the black stones there in it? All right, it does have, as you see, a two-inch extender. So this one's going to fit multiple size wrists, okay? You like it? I like it, all right? The number for this one is Jazzy 62. Again, it's a black, that's the back side there. It does have the black stones on it. Looks like a chain link fence there. Jazzy 62, okay? Next, we have these hanging earrings here. This is for the pierced ear. These are silver in color. Let's see. The name of these is called Road Trip Paradise. The silver earring does have the two medallions there. If you like it, the number is going to be Jazzy 82. And Paparazzi is known again for its, its larger earrings. When they come out with a small pair, I try to scoop those up. Because I know they don't get out, they don't get out um, a lot. Now for this next bracelet, I think I have it in two colors here. Colorful uh, Captivation, or maybe it's two different. No, I have it in orange, and then I have it in silver. All right, this is the silver one. It is a. It does have a lobster clasp to it. It does have uh, that little gray. See the floor print there with the gray in it? 
uh, but it does have a three two inch extender right there lobster clasp nice bracelet okay this is going to be jazzy 85 that's cute on your wrist it's very feminine so i have it there in silver 85 and i have it in this nice light orange color also you see that 85 this light orange color so if you like this you'll say 85 orange or if you like the silver one you'll say 85 silver it does have the large rhinestones and the silver in that one it has that gray in it also now if you want a more festive ear okay if you like the large earrings you like how they dangle you like how they look look at this one this one has this almost a uh, iridescent white film it's almost like you're seeing double, ain't it? I promise y'all, y'all ain't. That's just how this earring is made. Kind of like your vision going bad. <laughs> okay. All right. But it's not. This is Jazzy 32. All right. I'll bring it in so you can see it. It may be playing off the light a little bit. But I promise you, this is Jazzy 32. Okay. All right. Let me get a look. Uh -huh. Let me wet my whistle just a little bit. Okay. Two more items and we go for our next question. Y'all know how uh, paparazzi went through this thing with the butterflies? Well, they're still going through it. This one says, has a wing to it. It is a blue bracelet. Oh, you like them, Miss Jewel 32? Yeah, they are going to be your little... Ooh. <laughs> You got it, ma'am. You got it. This is, a, I got them upside down. Let me do it right side up. So, there are butterflies with alternating blue stones therein. Has a lobster clasp with a two-inch extender, as you can see. Let me write this down. 32. All right, I got you for the earring. All right, so, and it has the, so here again, butterfly on blue. All right, this one could be for you. It is the butterfly with the blue. The number is Jazzy 78. All right, Jazzy 78. Now, for those of you who you like to um, be patriotic, you love the way your stars and your stripes, this is a cuff bracelet. Uh, this is a, uh, what they call, it's not gold. It's called a rose gold, okay? Again, it is a cuff bracelet, as you can see there. does have the uh, band here, the rose gold band with the stars engraved inside of it. And the number for that is going to be Jazzy 41. All right, let's get to us a question. I have the single pieces out of the way. Now I'm going to get ready to move into our sets here. Every set can be broken up. Let's see. Yep. Every set. Each piece can be broken up. All right? So we don't have any families with the set. Y'all don't get to play defects today. You don't want to break them up. Okay? Um. All right. Y'all ready? This is not an easy one. I did not get it correct, but that doesn't mean you won't. You, uh, you, you, you will not get it correct. All right. According to the church tradition, which of the original 12 disciples was martyred in Ethiopia? I read the question again. According to the church tradition, which of the original 12 disciples was martyred in Ethiopia? I'm going to let that sizzle in your spirit. All right. While y'all figuring that one out, I'll get my bus ready for my next, not Pa, not Miss Jewel. Pa was not an original disciple. He was not. No, was he martyred in Ethiopia. He was not an original, one of the original 12. Pa didn't even walk with Jesus. He didn't even walk with him. He wrote two thirds of the New Testament and didn't even. Now that, that was, now that's somebody, you hear me? He didn't even walk with him, but yet he wrote most of the New Testament because of his relationship. So, Matthias. Okay. I'm going to give you that one. 
I'm trying to think because it was Matthew. All right. I'm trying to think, was there one name? Okay, so, Miss Cola, you got it. Got two, two, two real fast. Okay, <laughs> Miss Joy, she got it with, with Matthew, okay? All right, I don't have to tell you the drill. You know the drill. For those of you who are new to the live, the first person to get two correct answers... It's the person who gets to choose a one of uh, five bags. If they choose something, I show it to them. They don't like it, they get to go to another bag. But they have to take what's in the second bag. Okay. All right, Sister Cole, you saying no. I don't know why you're saying no, but you're saying it. Okay. So, I'm going to let you say it. Oh, you went with, okay, but Matthias means Matthew in another language, so. Because I was trying to think, I was like, now there was a Matthias and a Matthew. Okay, so you get the, well, let me, well, you get it, because it means that what it's mean in another language, so. Pick a bag. All right, we'll ask another question then. All right, let me ask another question before I show this one. She says she wanted to be fair. All right. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm not going to argue. I'm going to show this, then I'm going to ask another question. All right. So I've never, this is not new, new. It's been out for maybe a couple of weeks, but I've never shown it. This is a silver necklace here. It has these little tassels on it. Then it has some feather-like features uh, up there. Uh, let me bring it in so y'all can see it. So it, it has several different things going on. No, ma'am, thank you. It has several different things going on in here, okay? Then you have your rhinestone there in the middle. This is a medium-sized necklace. It does come with paparazzi's uh, staple earrings there that you see. They're turned backwards, but it does have a 2-inch um, adjuster on there. So you can adjust it out for 2 inches. So I've taken the liberty to add this. This is what I call a hinge bracelet to go along with because it has the leaf motifs in there uh, to match the necklace there. And a hinge means that it's just a hinge, okay? has a hinge on one side and open it up on the other side. And you just put it into place. Hello, Evangelist Knights. Hello, hello, hello. All right. So this is a two-piece deal. And the third piece to this is a nice look at this. This is a nice leaf ring okay all of the rings do have a stretch back so you have a three piece here you have this beautiful necklace there with the open face and the rhinestone to match up with this particular ring and this hinge bracelet this is a three piece deal five for dollars for each piece and remember you can you can break up the set if you like if you just want the ring you'll say 40 ring if you just want the necklace you'll say 40 necklace if you just want the bracelet you'll say 40 bracelet bracelet if you say 40 set that means all three pieces will be yours okay all three pieces all right so much for that pretty 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 there all right question let's get this question on the road we have linda coley with one point all right all right fill in the blanks about um the prophesied destruction um, of Mystery Babylon. It says, the voice of blank and, and of the blank shall be heard no more at all in thee. Mm, let me read that again. Fill in the blank. The voice of blank and of the blank shall be heard no more at all in thee. And this is coming from the 18th chapter of Revelation. And y'all know I got it wrong. Because I said the voice of the Lord and that was wrong. So y'all don't say the voice of the Lord. Don't say that word because that was wrong. Okay? Even though it is his voice. But no. You have to uh, 
put this scripture in. God and people, no ma'am. <laughs> You're going to have to go to Revelation 18. <laughs> oh, Lord. I ain't even knew this scripture existed. I don't read in Revelation much anyway. The voice of the blank. Satan and the beast, no ma'am. You're going to have to go to Revelation 18. You're going to have to go to Revelation 18. Okay. 18 chapter. I ain't going to tell you what verse it is. Hey, Elder Bassin, you are correct. The bridegroom and the bride. I don't know how you got that right. But anyway, Revelation 18 and 23, that's what it is. The bridegroom and the bride. All right. So now we got Elder Bass with one. We got Linda Cola with one. And we're to go to our next, I finish say our next concession. Our, our next, I don't know what me you are talking about the voice or the voice. I have no idea. Hey, charge to keep our hell. I don't know what she doing. I don't, I don't know. Hallelujah. I'm just going to just. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Next, I want to show you all this. This is, I had two blanks in there, so you got to have two answers. See, I'm laughing at her. I done, I done caught a cramp in my side. <laughs> Oh, I got to drink some water and get some potassium in me. That's for sure. That's a potassium deficit. All right, y'all. I'm praying for my healing. Cause this medicine taking this potassium out of my body. God didn't intend for, for me to be on medicine. I don't know about y'all, but I, I just, I, I'm, I'm going to walk away from it. Okay. That's just an aside. This here is a beautiful look at this turquoise and brown i'm gonna bring it in for you to see it's almost like the leaf was petrified and they and when they froze it in they froze in that turquoise stone there okay so this is on the silver chain there it does have the brown brown and turquoise go well together uh it comes with these complimentary tassel earrings okay these tassel earrings those are again paparazzi signature earrings there uh, this here, oh well, I had it choked up for one, and then I'm going to turn around. So this is probably a long, a long one. I don't have any problem with those earrings, but I wanted to upgrade it a little bit. I think these do it more just, these things are just cute to me. I wish I had a brown dress and I could just accent the turquoise. I think I'm going to be on the hunt for a brown dress when the fall comes. And if nobody's bought these, I'm going to wear them myself, Okay. This is cute together. That's a two-piece set. The number is going to be Jazzy94, okay? So if you just want the necklace, you'll say 94 necklace. If you just want those beautiful earrings, you'll say 94 earrings, and then it will be yours, okay? All right, okay. Now let's move on to the next item, and it is a lovely, this here, y'all, this necklace has a little weight to it. Okay, I think it's holding it up. This is a rose gold necklace here. Look at this. This has a lot of different things going on inside of it. You have your brown stones there along with those rhinestones. The name of this necklace is called, I think it said the rosebud. That ain't it. Warp Speed. Okay, because it is warped of sorts. All right, and it comes with these complimentary earrings that you see here. This paparazzi signature earrings. Ain't got nothing against those earrings. Does have a two inch um, uh, extender, so it will extend out, but it's still a short necklace. May not be a uh, neck choker, but it still is. Comes with this ring here that's also warped um, around if you look at it. Uh, real closely doesn't have any definite design kind of reminds you of what's going on in this necklace I paired it up with this nice rose gold bracelet here this is a cuff bracelet as you can see uh, in addition to a nice little simple uh, bracelet and I've also paired it up with these rose gold earrings that are also uh, got a lot going on there as the design so this is a four-piece deal and remember what I told you 
None of these sets are written in stone. They're not the family that you can break it up if you want. But that is the five-piece deal. And you can break it up any kind of way you like. And the number for it is going to be Jazzy86. Okay? All right. Y'all ready for another question? Okay, let's see what we got going on here. These questions are a little hard, I think. But let's see who's okay. Who is the only male cousin of John the Baptist identified by name in the Bible? Y'all, that's too easy. I ain't going to even talk on that. I ain't going to give you no hints or nothing. The only person in the Bible that said John the Baptist was his cousin. Okay. Y'all know this. John the Baptist? Cousin? Come on. Alright. Why y'all thinking of that answer? When I when I tell y'all the answer, y'all gonna be like, I knew that. I knew that. James and you <laughs> No. I got to say it a little sweeter than that. No, not quite. <laughs> okay. The mamas was cousins. Come on. The mamas was cousins. Come on. Come on. The only way in the Bible it tell you who John the Baptist's cousin was. I cannot believe. <laughs> All right. Not John, not Luke. Okay. None of the disciples, okay? None. Jesus, thank you, Marilyn. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my bloody mother, Elizabeth. No. <laughs> Elizabeth was the mother, right? But she wasn't the cousin. That was his mama. Marilyn is the first in Linico. Let's see, you say Marilyn got it right. Oh, oh y'all, that was too easy. That was too easy. Y'all acting like me now. Them, them, in math class, them easy questions I got there, I get them wrong. But them hard would be two, three pages long. I get them right. <laughs> okay. You know, the baby leaped in the mama womb. That's how you know. He the only one that he said he was his cook. Y'all. Okay. All right. Okay, Marilyn, you got a point. Yes, it was Jesus. Okay, y'all, I ain't gonna eat Luke one thirty six, but y'all knew that, y'all. You know what? Sometimes something could be so easy till you get it wrong, and that's that's probably what that one was. Mhm. Mm that's how that went. That's what I'm gonna put it on anyway. Okay, okay. You did not raise them that way. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> Y'all heard that, then? Okay. Come at me. Okay, this is what the name of this necklace is. We're going to have another one right after this necklace. Hold on, let me tell you. I don't like no twisted up chain. I don't know if I'm going to hit it out or making it worse. Okay. So this here, you see here is the white there. This has this uh, rhinestones there in, in all outdoors for everyone to see. And it's actually white. It's not brown or any other color. And the chain is heavy. It does come with the complimentary earrings on the fish hook back that you can see there. Okay, it does have a two inch extender, but it's still a fairly small necklace. So with it, <clears throat> I've decided to add this beautiful rhinestone uh, ring, as you can see. This beautiful ring here, and it's covered with rhinestones on top of rhinestones. I'm going to bring it in so you can see. Again, you can break up any of this. And the third piece to this puzzle is this nice rhinestone bracelet. It is a stretch bracelet, as you can see. It does have the two spacers there, silver beads uh, at the top and the bottom. So this is a three-piece deal. And again, if you want to break it up, feel free to do so. And it's going to be Jazzy 18. So you have your necklace, you have your ring pieces to match, and then you have your bracelet. Okay? All three, that's $15 plus tax, which is going to be 
Or you can break it up $5 for the ring, $5 for the necklace, $5 for the bracelet. Okay. All right. Moving right along, let's get the next question. See who's going to win. Ain't nobody won for tonight. Ain't got but a few more to go. All right, pieces to go. Let's see what's, what's going to be next. How long was Joseph in prison between the time he interpreted the dreams of the chief cuffbearer and the time he interpreted Pharaoh's dream? How long was Joseph imprisoned? And you're going to find this in, let me tell you where you're going to find this. The 40th chapter of Genesis. Not 12 years, Miss Jewel. Not 12. I'm going to give you all a hint. It was less than 12. Okay. All right. How many years was, I read the question again. And it was not 10. How long was Joseph in prison between the time he interpreted the dreams of the chief cupbearer, not seven, and the time he interpreted Pharaoh's dream, not seven? Not ten, not twelve, not seven. Okay. Fabaz, two years is correct. Two years. Oh, Lord. She done come in here and stole the show. Okay. Two years. All right, Marilyn got it, but it, Faye Bass got it first. Miss Jewel, not three. Okay, so, Ilda Bass, you got five bags to choose from. All right, while she's choosing, making up her mind about her bag, two years. Okay, Ben Snipe, Ilda Bass got it. Two years, just two little years. He, ain't no little, cause two years in, trust me, two years in prison is a long time. Oh, man, can y'all just imagine having to go to prison for doing what's right? That is so sad. I don't even want to talk about that because I don't work in the prison. It ain't no place to be. Okay. All right. While Elder Bass is trying to figure up a number between one and five to get a bag, I'm going to show y'all this next item, and then I'm going to do another question. <laughs> I'm going to show her. When you turned, that's what, that's, you know, it was your birthday, wasn't it? I'm going to have to do something for you. All right, she, she turned 65, you want bag no more. You think you want bag no more. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you bag. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. All right. Um, This is a multicolor. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see it, though. It has pinks and um yellows in it. Y'all see them prisms of color? I have a matching bracelet here uh, that has the, the same prism of colors there. And it's going to play a little bit off my pegboard. So you're going to see more pink than you do anything. Alright, this is on the short chain. And it does have a 2 inch extender and it does come with these complimentary earrings there. Those little studs. Okay? Alright. Miss Jewel said we love you and that is true. That's not... There's nothing fictitious about that. We do love you. That is so true. The number is Jazzy 73. 73 for the necklace, if you like. Or 73 for the bracelet. It is a stretch bracelet. Or you can say 73 set for them both. Okay? All right, y'all. She said bag number five. Oh, Lord. I don't know what to say, but... Okay, bag number five. I got bag number five. Sixty-five. What does that mean? <laughs> that mean you getting old? <laughs> I think none of us getting no younger. But okay, at the best, look. This uh, I've been trying to get rid of. <laughs> that should say it like that. This is a nice brace. Look at all that bling bling on your be on for your go out for your sixty-five fifth birthday. Okay, you get that. I'm going to take it out of rotation. And you get this beautiful, I don't know what kind of ring this is. It's a knuckle knuckle silver ring. Not this one, not this one. This one. <laughs> okay. That's two. Two things. Y'all think she should keep it or trade? No, wait a minute, Miss George. <laughs> Y'all know what? This ain't that bad. He better snack to my swap it. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. I paid good money for both of them. Okay. Okay. Bad number. You gonna pass? No, no. 
Y'all know what? I don't know why y'all don't like this bracelet. Is beautiful. On the that run, not so it's run. Somebody gonna win this on the on the drive by when they drive by the first one. Oh, all right. So whatever's in bag number two, let me put this back in here. Well, I ain't gotta put it back in. I have to put it back in later. I can't believe y'all nobody want that. That is a beautiful piece of jewelry. Bag number two. All right, you might be the look down a little bit, man. You bow. <laughs> Listen, me do I ain't want. I already done bought it. That's the problem. I already done bought it. I bought it. That's thinking somebody would want it. That's the problem. Me wear it? No. Give it to her for her birthday gift. Hmm. Look, if she'd have wanted it last night, she would have got it. But look at here. This is what she got. <laughs> you got two items in here, bag number two. Okay, now, look, I'm going to tell you about this, because this can be very sexy. If you're trying to be sexy, if you ain't, I don't know what to tell you. I have seen some some um people wear it around their neck for a choker. You saw how that looked, right? Okay? I've seen them double it up and put it on their arm. I don't have to figure it out. You do, because you bought it. Ha! Okay? She <laughs> said... <laughs> Miss Ju said you don't wear bad to worse. But wait, it may be some redeeming qualities right here. Hold on, you got a necklace. Hold on. Let me show you your necklace. You got that necklace and uh, or a bracelet. I don't know how you're going to wear it. And look at here, you got this. Now, Miss Joy got one of these things. I thought this was so ugly. But baby, she put it on with, a, I want to say, a pink turtleneck or something. I don't know what she had it on with. I want to take it off her neck. Okay? Just how you arrange it. See, you could arrange that red bracelet. This is this what you got right here, though. Okay. I'm sorry, but that's your prize. <laughs> oh, Lord. So when I see you up in the, at the church with that on, I'm going to be I'm saying, ooh. I'm gonna be, see, Venice Knight agree with me. I'm going to say, ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to say, ooh, yeah. I know where she got that from. And then I want all the parishioners to buy one. Oh, there you go right there. All right, y'all. Let's ask another question. Got that out the way. Somebody going to get that red bracelet. I don't care what you say. Somebody going to get it if I have to send it to them. <laughs> Somebody. I'm just waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I don't know why y'all don't like my bracelet. I don't. All right, let's do this one. Then we'll have one more question. You got one? Oh, you got, oh, you got one of them necklaces like that, Sister Linda. Y'all, this is cute. Now, I don't care what you say. I don't care what y'all say. Look at this bad baby right here. This right here is a copper necklace. And the name of this one is called Over the Limit. Not Over the Limit, but Over the Limit. It comes with the matching earrings there that are cute with the um, fish hook back. has a two-inch extender, so you can extend it out two inches longer than what we see here. You got this one? Now tell me, Venice Knight, don't this look good on? I don't know how y'all, this looks good on. Okay, you got a fat neck like mine that look like that. But look at that. That is cute with a K. Now, if that's not, do you have a bracelet to go along with it? Look at that. You said you got that. This is a beautiful bracelet. You got the bracelet too? Oh, okay. All right. Well, she got this. She's saying, yes, it look. Now, you need to get the bracelet to go with it. This is a cuff bracelet, as you can see. It's wide on one end, on two ends, and then it, it just comes in. Okay. Y'all look at that. That looks like, again, something to be petrified. It looks good on, okay? I don't want to bend it out. I don't like to bend it out. I like folks to bend their own stuff out, okay? This is cute, though. That's a two-piece deal. And the third piece, um, I don't think it's too big for your wrist cause it, because you're going to be able to maneuver it like you want to. This is a copper ring. I mean, not a, yeah, copper ring to go along with it as that moonstone. So I uh, made out a three-piece deal out of this. The copy said, this is a uh, very cute, rich-looking ring to me for five whole dollars, okay? And then this right here. Because, see, that's a small, that's a small, you might not can tell it, but that's my, I have a big wrist, and mine didn't even fit on there. I didn't want to put it on there because I would have to stretch it. 
three piece deal. The number for this is Jazzy 79. Jazzy 79. And again, remember, you can break it up. You can break it up into pieces. It's no big deal. Nothing comes as a set that can be broken up. All right. All right. Got to get my time. All right. Next question. All right. Now, y'all know this one. Y'all get ready. This this one is this one is easy. Y'all ready? All right. Here's the question. Who said Come see a man which told me all the things that ever I did. Who said that? Y'all answer the question, then I get back to you, Miss Jewel. Who said, Come see a man. Lady at the well, Miss Jewel is the first one I see. Alright, we got a real competition here tonight. Lady at the well, everybody getting it. I see Miss Jewel first, I see uh, Vanda Snipe second, and Linda Cola third. Yeah, that was an easy peasy there. That was an easy one. Easy, easy, easy one. Yeah, we remember that. We remember that conversation. I done spoke on her a time or two myself. All right, y'all ready? Let me show y'all this. Now, this one came in a, a couple of weeks back, too. I'm behind about three to four weeks on my show and my jury. I got two boxes. I ain't even never took the jury out of the box. I said, I'll get to it. Like I'm just showing it one time a week. I got to go back to showing more than once a week. This is a white stone there in the middle, it, and it I got to bring it way in. It has that cracked egg look on it. Okay, it's encased in the heart, uh, the silver heart pendant there. Uh, the earrings do come with this particular necklace, complimentary earrings. Here are the heart-shaped earrings. You see the little crack, uh, the little cracked egg. I call it cracked egg, crackle stone on it. It does come with the two-inch extender there on this coil type. Uh, necklace there. Look at that. That's cute. Cute with a K. Alright. Now, I got a couple of things I want to show y'all that I want to go with this. Alright. I'm going to show two separate rings. This is the bracelet. Okay. It also has I can't get too close because it, it need to focus. It also has that crack stone in it. Okay. It looks like a butterfly. Alright. Elder Bass. You see what she's saying? Um, pick yourself a necklace set, and she'll pay for it. Uh, uh, she talked trash, but she is definitely one of the most giving people I know. Her and my other, uh, my other relative that's on the line, they belong to their sisters. I'll tell you, they'll tell you about yourself, and then turn around and bless you. <laughs> so she said, pick you out something, and she'll pay for it. And you know, Elder Bass, you can go back and look at some of the past. Um, Live like you generally do, and so, um, um, she she says do that for her, okay. All right, so back to my set here. So we have this white crackle stone to go with this one. This is two piece deal. The number is going to be Jazzy twenty nine, okay. Jazzy twenty nine. All right, Miss Jewel. She says thank you. Two piece set. Jazzy twenty nine. Alright, so for that particular set, what I want to do is I want to show you all two rings, okay? The first ring is this nice white crackle stone ring here. She says, you're welcome. Well, y'all you, can see, I'm just reading it like y'all can't see it. Okay, this one's going to be Jazzy 24, alright? <laughs> Yeah, I know when I be on my survey and then people be reading off that little stuff to me. I be saying to myself, I can read, you know, but I, I keep it to myself. I just thought about that. The next ring that's also this white with that crackle stone. I can't get it too close because y'all can't see it. I have to wax in on it. All right, this next one white is going to be Jazzy 14. Jazzy 14, but it also has... Uh, that crackle stone there too. All right, you may see it a little bit. All right, fourteen for that one. Uh -uh. 
All right. She says you're welcome. So, what we got right now, we got uh, Linda Cola with one, Marilyn Freeman with one, and Miss Jewel with one. So, let's ask another question. Y'all ready? Get your fat fingers ready. <laughs> All right. All right, this this fits to be this easy. This is easy peasy. Okay, listen at it. Jesus said it was unforgivable to speak against or blaspheme what? Ain't but one sin that he said that was. Some people say suicide, but he ain't never said that. I don't know who started that rumor. So don't put suicide up there, please, because that's not correct. All right. Holy Ghost is correct. This is in John 12, 31 through 32. Miss Jewel, I see you first with Holy Ghost. Lynn Nicole, I see you with Holy Ghost. Blunt Freeman, I see you with Holy Ghost. And Beautiful Night. That's it right. It was easy peasy. All right, Miss Jewel. Y'all need me to send my, send my thing up here to show you. All right, it was that. All right, Miss Jewel, you got it. Just give me a bag. Oh, Lord. Yep, that was an easy one. All right, while she's coming up with a bag, I want to show y'all this one. I want to show y'all this piece right here. Let me get these pieces that go along with it, okay? I thought this was something different. I done had this piece for a while. This is a pearl necklace. It has the light brown side on here. And then it has, um, what do it have? It has a silver here. Then it has this dark brown uh, beading here. Comes with the matching dark brown uh, beaded earrings, and it does have a two inch extender, so you can extend it out two inches more than this. Okay, so y'all keep that in mind because I'm gonna come back and hit you. Uh, Elder Face, she said, Please pick a bag, <laughs> she's gonna forfeit her, her win over to you. Okay, so here, here you have the brown. Again, with a with a lighter color brown. So I matched it up and look. Here we have a brown ring. Okay, remember all the rings have a stretch back to them. And this one has that little, uh, t I'm make it like I'm shooting a bird. The two, um, as opposed to a wide back, as you see here, it just has these right here feel better on your hand too. All right, so that going to match it with that brown ring there. And then... Uh, I have a brown bracelet. Look at this, ladies. And it is a hinge bracelet, okay? And it does come, uh, as you can see, with the rhinestones around the larger brown. So then that is a three-piece, okay? That is a three-piece deal with this. Wait a minute. I see a fourth piece. In case you don't like that ring, which does go better, I have this ring that has the brown rhinestones in it, but it also has the brown there. So this is four pieces, okay? If you like this, the number is going to be Jazzy 43. You make up your mind. Do you like it? Do you like it? Okay? That is brown. That is, that is different, okay? We got all them pieces to go with that. I like it, y'all. I like it. I like it. A brown pearl. Okay. Again, the number is going to be 43. Now, Miss Jewel said pick a bag and you pick bag number three. Okay. I got you. Oh, Lord. Bag number three. Okay. You got one thing in here. Oh, Lord. I think we looked at this last time, somebody. Alright, this is a... It started out as one necklace, and then it ends up as three. And it has these um little green and silver and red, and that's even an orange color. Okay? 
Now, I don't know what you're going to do with that. <laughs> you think she should keep it? Y'all think she should give it away. Then it has the matching green earrings there, as you can see. All right, you want that? You want to switch it? <laughs> she said no. Ain't you going to give your thing away and tell the woman no? Okay, then, well, it's left up to you. You tell me what you want to do. Tell me what you want to do. While she's thinking about that, what she wants to do, I am going to talk about my, uh, you pass. I'm going to talk about, well, I guess I'm going to go to bag one. Now, you know you got to get whatever's in bag one, right? Okay. It ain't a bad gift, but... It ain't a bad gift. Y'all, I got so many of these. I promise you, y'all gonna be seeing these. <laughs> Would you like that red bracelet? I won't buy no more of them. This is what you'll be getting. This nice little plaited seed bead necklace. It has browns in it. And it has yellows and silver. Okay. Depending on how you wear it, you can, you can really, really hook it up. I'm telling you, this was a this was a piece that the the uh, your sister's gonna take this from you. Tell her Night. That that is that is that is good. Tell her, it's, tell her, tell her, tell her. Oh, <laughs> it's a good piece. It was um with paparazzi. Is it you got it? Well, you can get this one. You can get it. So sister Cole got about two or three of them. So <laughs> she ain't gave them away. All right, trust me, I got some more to get rid of. Trust me when I tell you. This used to be the coveted thing back at one point from what I hear. See that? It's a good, it's a good piece. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. It's a good piece. I could have made some money off that. Nobody want to buy it. Anybody want to buy one? I got one. I got another one. Five dollars. Forty cents. It'll be yours. Okay. Put that in your bag. Well, you you ran off with some stuff today. Okay. All right. So for my finale piece, I got five minutes, maybe six minutes. Okay. Because I am trying to get off of here by eight so we can go and look at the Stella Awards. And who knows? I may curl up with a book. <laughs> I'm talking about the Stella Awards. But what I want to talk about is this beautiful piece here. This is uh, uh, my piece. Uh, but I do have this. I can sell this. This is a pearl necklace here. Uh, it has four on each side. Then it has this medallion there in the middle, okay? And it cascades up your neck. Uh, very, very cute, I think. It comes with the matching earrings that you can see. It does have that, uh, like your brooch there. That's the bottom of the earring. And then, of course, the pearl. The necklace itself is $25. This is a Z Connect, uh, collection. So it is $25. The ring is $5, and the bracelets are $5. So you get three bracelets. You can see there. It does have the, um, let me tell y'all what this is, because I ended up buying a, a real one once. and then, So these beads here are, they are beads, but they are they kind of like scallop shape. And then these beads here are replicas of your, I can't even remember the name, the kind of beads these were, the pearls these were. Uh, saltwater pearls, that's what they were. So these are replicas of saltwater pearls. Okay? And at one point I had the real deal myself. I don't know whatever happened to that bracelet. Nevertheless, all three are five dollars. The ring has the pearl in the middle. Rhinestones is five dollars. So the whole complete set is twenty-five plus five and five. This tenths is thirty-five dollars. Okay. If you like it, you're gonna say Jazzy won. For this beautiful layered necklace. Like I said, this one is mine. I wore it to church today. But I do have, you can get it. You can not get this one. Uh, I don't sell stuff that I wear. Um, but you can get you one. Okay? Jazzy one if you want it. Alright? Well, that's it for today. I want to thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for coming out uh, on this Sunday. When you could have been doing something else. Uh, thank you for taking this hour out. I, I like to limit it to an hour. Y'all meet me here again if we live. 
Meet me here again on next Sunday at 7. I'll see you then. All right, y'all be blessed.